Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get back in the zone. The, la the last video I made, I did this. You saw my back. <laughs> I did it again. So I'm going to really work hard on that this year. And uh, you'll probably be seeing more of my back. No, no, no. So anyway, furnace alert. It's still cool. Let's have a look at this uh, thing that just came in. The guy who owns this is the guy who did the landscaping in front of my house when we took out the big tree. You might remember that, those of you who watch regularly. It ran for years, he lent it to a pal, and it's coming back, and it doesn't run. So, let's have a look at it first. He said there's two problems with it. It won't start, and this cable works but it's too you know they fixed it themselves so it's too short because it's nice to hold on to it up it's nice to hold on to it not there but up there yeah so this is an air an aerator eh? so now let's see if we can get it to bark I don't know gas is on I did that it was off when we got here So let's just get that air filter off of there. Well, as expected, a very, very dirty air filter and a pre-filter. I've got those. And we'll open it up. We'll go to rabbit and uh, squirt some two-stroke fuel into the carburetor. Oh, I need more fuel in here. I'll get that in a minute. I got enough in, let's just cheat and do a squirt too. I tried to get a few things ready before I started filming because I'm getting jealous of you guys that are so organized. Okay, let's give her a yank. It's on. We're on bunny rabbit. Full choke. Nothing. Well, that's a surprise. What happened? I was going to test for spark on this guy. I brought that out too. I don't have to now. So there's something not right. I checked for spark earlier and I didn't have one. Maybe that's an electrical issue, eh? Oh, Papa son. We had the hood off. I wonder if there's an electrical shutoff on this hood. Okay, so I tried to start it before, before you guys got here, right? And uh, it wouldn't start with the hood off. So let's just remove the hood again. Well, let's see if it starts now. Yeah, there we go. Ah, ah. It won't start now. Right? So I'm just going to look at the hood to see if there's some kind of a, a do hummer on the hood. <laughs> I found it. Okay, the wire goes into that hole. Up through to here and to here. So 
So if I take and tape that down, it, you guys are watching this, right? Let's just tape that switch down. Right. So I'm just taking the switch down to 100% verify that that's what it is. Bunny rabbit, no choke now. First problem fixed. So they must have been testing it without the hood on. But the air filter was so dirty, let's just see if that kills it. Oh yeah, where should she go? I'm just going to put this on tight to see if the restrictions are too high for it to start now. Fuel on. Bunny rabbit. Okay, got to run it like a champ. So I think what happened was, like the, the owners don't honestly know, I think the fuel was turned off and they might have been testing it without the hood on. So there we go. We'll leave that tape on there until we're done. Now we just have to fix the uh, cable. So now, this cable is just from a, I think it's just from a self-propelled lawnmower, eh? Right there, you see that spring right there? And then he's got, the end is just open up to here. And then he had this taped into that hole like that. Uh, uh, and he didn't even have it clipped into this holder here. So that's coming out. Because it's just not right. This is slipping. It's not long enough. So right there is our lever that engages the cl uh, clutch, right? It's a, it's a belt clutch, but it's a clutch. But I have one more cool thing. I've got this guy with that type of a hook in there, which looks like that might have been the original type of thing, eh? But I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this, but I think we've got a, I've, I've got some kind of a plan I'm going to start. So, I'm going to have to mount this guy. Where is he? He's got a hole like that, something like that down here, All right? Not sure yet. I'd like to mount it like something like that, just to clip into, right? So when I come up with something, I'll let you know. It's a bit of a challenge, right? All right, we're working on this uh, aerator. This is my new cable. It's going to mount there, and it's, I put a, a heat shrink sleeve from here to here, just to, to keep it from getting chafed there. And I'm going to add, first of all, I'm going to cut that off, so I just have the, the L there. And then that is going to sit in there. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. But it's going to sit in there like, like that. Now, all I hope is, I got a hunch there was one of these brackets on here before that was sitting up like this. And somebody whacked it off with a, with a grinder, right? Because this is suspiciously looking the same cable, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to take this wheel off of here. Because I have to do some grinding right behind it. Come on, baby.
I see what's happening. What? It's always easier to move than that. Holy crap! I can say that, can't I? It's hot! Good! That's all I wanted to do! So now I can zip this off because I want to put that pretty much where the where that same guy is, right? Yeah, exactly. Do I do the grinding right now? All right, folks, <clears throat> it's the next day. There's a bracket for the cable here. And well, there's a bracket for the cable here. And we follow it down. And it looks like one was cut off here, right? So I'm going to I'm just going to cut this flush and add a new bracket. I wonder if I can set this little light up properly in here. Get some kind of light on there. There we go. Next step is to take this and cut it off there so I have a nice right angled uh, guy just like that. Or that, I guess, eh? And I'm going to turn you around. So Stella, my friend, says that I should be putting the camera over my right shoulder if I'm left handed. Those are nice discs. Wish I had a few more of those. They last a long time. Fairly, fairly flush, or ni uh, 90 degrees, I mean. Take the paint off of it. I know I could use a flat wheel or ouch or anything. I knew it was going to be warm. Let's just do the other side on the on the well. That'll work. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, so watch this guys, that's it, that's where it's going to go, right? And that's exactly where the other one was located, so it must, this is not the, this is not the original conduit for this machine, but it must have been the same conduit for a commercial machine with the long wire inside. Alright you guys, I am going to try and hold this with the pliers and get a tack. It's going to be hard because the angles are all wrong and it's AC welding. This is the little guy I'm welding with right there. I'm grounded up. I just want to heat my uh, rod up a little bit here. Good. And then I want to hold that guy still, and I don't know if you can see through what I'm doing or not. I'm going to hold it right there. Shake it. That 
should stick. It's red hot. <coughs> Yeah, that's going to stick. Now we're going to have fun on the other side. I tried clamping it and it just wouldn't clamp it. So this little round thing at the bottom got in the way. Huh? That'll do. Rod's getting shorter. That's good. Now, I'm going to try to go from inside to out. One more. <laughs> there we go. That's ugly as a mud fence, eh? Need a little more heat, I think. Just a tad. Not good. I haven't got much rod left. Where's the scratcher? Just looking for something. There's the brush there. Ugh. Hold on there. Should be better now. There. Just three amps or ten amps more heat. That's it. We're done. I might have to grind down a bit so that the nut will fit on. That's good. And a little chipping hammer. I don't know like chipping hammers, but once in a while you gotta use them. Eh? Oh, that's good. Now, we need room for the bolt and nut to go through from the, from the cable, right? Like right now, If we go through from this side, I think we're okay. But I gotta cut, I gotta cut down there. You'll see me right away here as soon as I do it. Okay, that should do it. That's all I need. Now I just want to make it look a little better. Yeah, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. That was fun. I know I probably got in the way a little bit there, but that's all right. All right. In you go, in you go, and on you go. Hugo will go, go. You cannot harm me. My wings are a shield of steel. Okay, that is... Okay, that's set at mid-depth. I just have to tighten it up. Yes, the furnace is on, this late in the year. So this is the last step uh, to tighten up the nut and bolt on this axle. That tire should still spin. No, it doesn't. Oh, I hate those. There we go. It is a bearing wheel. Uh, he's smart enough to figure that out. That's good. It's there. Thanks, guys. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go. You guys know me. I can't leave well enough alone, right? Okay, that's probably not spinning now. Well, that's pretty good. So it might not look like it. But all of the operating parts on this thing are back together now. Except I gotta tighten this one up. I'll show you in just one second. Right on that connection there. It's just gotta be tightened up to about a quarter of an inch of a stick out on that uh, thread. Eh? So it's got a washer, so I'm just gonna turn this end only. Good. There. Is that tight? Yes, it is. Okay. We loosen this. 
and it still catches a little bit, eh? I could probably take that up just a tiny bit more, even so. Yay! But everything runs now, and it's operational. We have to sharpen one of the knives, whatever you call them down there. This one, he says, doesn't release the grass plug, and these ones do. No problem. There it is. Yeah, I got a little paint on my nuts there. Ah! <laughs> I painted them both just so they're not shiny metal, right? Like I remember I ground off I ground off the paint back to here and about to here. So there we go. Hopefully no movement shots there, Stella, like that. So I'll see you tomorrow guys. Alright my friends, one small job left. No, I can't use a washer. So I'm just going to use a cotter pin on that. There. Good. So now it's just a matter of uh, oiling, greasing, air filters. I'm just going to clean it up first. You guys don't have to watch that. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of exciting, actually. There. So when we come back, I'm going to make sure this switch that's right here is reliable. So as long as the uh, cover pushes this button down, we should be all right. Okay, let's do that again and verify that this wire that comes off of this switch, which is right here, Oops, I know, movement, right there, and it plugs into this here, this one right here, is the coil, and when you plug these together, and that switches up, it grounds the coil and stops the engine from running. Good ground is right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, perfect. All you can do is ten out of ten. How much gas do we have? Not much. Let's just take a take a sample of it. It actually looks okay. There doesn't seem to be that much dust in it either. Oh, we can always use tape. Eh? Okay, that should start. the air cleaner and see if it runs any better. It is filthy. Okay. Two. Gas on. Oh, gas on. <laughs> okay. change the oil. I've just warmed the engine up and I'm going to, I've got the, the unit tilted now and it's just, oops, get it before it rains in there. Uh, 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 oh. Got it. <laughs> a little hot. 
I don't know how much engine, how much oil this engine holds. So I'm going to put a half a liter in it right away. As soon as uh, it drains, and then I'll just fill it with whatever is required. I use 1030 on these. It's in the book. All right, guys. Here we go. She's completely finished. Bunny rabbit. Fuel choke. I'm not going to lower it. 